Mr Andrew Griffiths. Yeah. Th thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I beg to move the motion in my name and in the name of other honourable and right honourable members on today's order paper. Um, Mr Speaker, I'd like to begin by thanking the Backbench Business Committee for giving us the opportunity to uh, debate this important uh, issue on the floor of the House. I know from the number of emails and telephone calls that I've received that uh, publicans and brewers and in pubs up and down the country, they're tuning in to Parliament Channel to listen to this debate, such is the level of interest in it. And I commend the Backbench Business Committee for giving us this opportunity. Of course, uh, colleagues will know that this debate is a, a result of 104,000 people signing a petition demanding the scrapping of the beer duty escalator and calling for that to be debated on the floor of the House. And, and, I, and I also congratulate everybody that took the time and opportunity to familiarise themselves with these issues and to sign in support of their pubs and their breweries. And what we need to understand within the context of this debate is that beer and pubs employ a million people across this country, 50% of which are under the age of 25. If we have this problem with youth unemployment, with young people getting them into work, surely supporting a dynamic industry like the brewing industry and the pub industry is absolutely the right way to do it. What I would say to the Minister is, is that he has a perfect opportunity today to demonstrate that this government understands the pressures on hard-working families and doesn't want to penalise them with a great pint of British beer, uh, by overtaxing a great pint of yeah, British yeah. beer. This is a great opportunity for the Minister to be the man who saves Britain's brewing industry, yeah, yeah, yeah. the man who protects yeah, the nation's yeah, pubs, yeah, yeah. and for him to be the Minister who saves the great British pint. Yeah. Scrap the duty. Yeah. It sounds to me, though, that you've got a bit of a mountain to climb at a time when the Chancellor is desperate for money uh, and he's got to cut public spending and he's been putting up taxes as well. Getting a cut in the beer tax, uh, I mean, I, it just seems to me that's not going to be that easy, is it? Well, look, for instance, at duty on cider. If you go into a pub, mm. Andrew, I, I'm sure you don't go in very often, but it, should you go into a pub <laughs> and have a pint of bitter or a pint of cider, there's 50 pence difference in the duty that you pay on a pint of beer rather than a pint of cider. So every time somebody chooses cider over beer, uh, the Treasury is actually losing 50p. Mm. And also, of course, the cider makers have 50 pence tax break to spend on promoting their products and marketing, marketing and advertising. And when you, when you put your points to the Prime Minister and the Chancellor about this beer tax, what do they say to you as they sip their Dom Perignon? Well, I think we all know. I mean, David, uh, David Cameron loves a pint of bitter. He's been, really? uh, he's been photographed many occasions drinking <laughs> some fine Burton Ale, Andrew, and I can <laughs> highly that, recommend that it. That doesn't mean he likes it. That and means he knows the cameras are there. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, David Cameron is a, is a beer lover. But I think what we've, we've reached a tipping point. You know, the thing about a beer, an escalator, Andrew, is when you get to the top, you stop and you get off. We've reached the point now where the beer duty escalator isn't raising any money for the Treasury. Ah. And it's actually costing jobs Eps. and costing sales. There's another duty escalator we also inherited from the previous government. The annual 2% above inflation increase in alcohol. We're looking at plans to stop the biggest discounts of cheap alcohol at retailers. But responsible drinkers in our pubs should not pay the price for the problems caused by others. And the sad fact is that we've lost 10,000 pubs in the UK over the last decade. Many honourable members have raised their concerns with me, like the honourable, my honourable friend for Bristol North West, and my honourable friend for Burton in particular, has been a committed champion of the famous brewing industry that employs many of his constituents. I intend to maintain the planned rise for all alcohol duties, with the exception of beer. Yeah. <laughs> we will now scrap the beer duty escalator altogether. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of the three pence rise in beer duty tax planned for this year by the previous government, I am cancelling it altogether. That's the freeze people have been campaigning for. But I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to cut beer duty by one pence. Yeah. We're taking a penny off 